What's up, YouTube? Oh, look at me. I look crusty. Anyways, I figured I'd come up um, and make a quick little vlog thing. Um, a few things going on. We are playing The Witcher 3. I don't know exactly. I'm kind of toward the end. I'd say at least I'm halfway. I kind of stick with the main uh, quest line. I don't do too much side stuff. So... Apparently the game is anywhere from 25 hours to 200 hours. So I'm not exactly sure where I'm at in terms of when the storyline is going to end. But when the storyline ends, I kind of lose interest in the games. I don't do much of the side quest content for whatever reason. Um, but I do have about a good 30 hours in there already. So no complaints. And on to the next thing. We ordered a pizza. We're in Atlanta today. I don't know what that is. I see little dots right there. Maybe you guys can see them. Maybe you can't. Anyways. Pizza. Mmm. This is the school lunch, rubbery kind of pizza. I do like it though. And the crust is nice and uh, crusty. It's not the droopy kind. It's got a well done crust. Forgot who I ordered it from. Yeah, they don't got it on the box, so can't really say, but it is good. It reminds me of like a school pizza. A mix between like a school pizza and Yeah, it's a mix between a high school pizza and a a middle school pizza. Definitely not the New York or anything like that. But I do like it, so. And they cut it in eight slices, so I don't have complaints. Typically, I do everything through Uber Eats, and Uber Eats costs a little bit more than Grubhub and what Postmates. I haven't used Postmates in a while, but I do sometimes prefer Uber Eats for its reliability. And the GPS little thing, I can see exactly where the guy's at. I always step outside, wait for them at the entrance of wherever I'm at, off the major road. And give them a heads up exactly where I'm at, left, right, and what I'm wearing. So the transaction can be smooth. I don't play around with people who... Are in charge of my food. I learned that. Don't play around with people who are in charge of your food. There's been a few times where. I think I probably already mentioned this. The, the pizza person would call me. And they'd have trouble. Figuring out where I'm at. I always tell the people. When I place the order exactly where I'm at. But. For whatever reason it never gets relayed to the driver. Which isn't their fault necessarily. It's kind of how businesses arrange things get whatever and then when the driver calls me and they said where are you at and depending on how their attitude sounds and how they uh react to me giving them instructions is uh if they're cool about it and it's not too much of an issue if they feel like i'm wasting their time because <sighs> you're on the other side of the building and I'm just going to follow my phone and go there, even though whatever. Then I typically tell them, uh, yeah, keep that pizza. I don't want it anymore. And then hang up. So Typically what I do, because I don't know if the person's going to be mad and be right next to my food. So definitely have done that a few times when the person didn't seem like 
from my opinion, that they couldn't be trustworthy with food and so even though I like pizza I don't like it that much and we're gonna go on to I think it's called direction uh, gold ETF is what I'm currently uh, invested in um, the coronavirus everything took a big everything went down so I went ahead and bought some gold I bought a few hundred shares in uh, gold, uh, what, Direction Gold ETF. Um, one of them is the regular one. The other one is like the 3X leveraged. We're down like $700 um, from when I initially bought in. But, you know, I kind of knew the market was going down. Prices are dropping and then once the coronavirus uh kind of makes its way out of our economy and things hopefully go back to normal i can turn a nice profit so instead of being 700 down i still got to go 700 up to even break even but i'm thinking the gains are possibly there no way whatsoever have any experience with trading or reading markets. I received this from a tip. Um, so it seems to make sense. Obviously, gold is always fluctuating. And if you look at the price of gold and the economy, for whatever reason, it went down as the economy recovers from the coronavirus. I think it's going to blow over. And go back to normal. As long as it goes back to normal, then there's a good profit to be made. Because I bought at a 52 week low. So as long as it goes to normal, we don't need it to go do anything crazy. We just need it to return to normal and uh, be a few thousand dollars just on that stock returning to normal. How long it's going to take to return to normal, I don't know, but. I don't necessarily need it to be normal at the mo tomorrow. So, got a few weeks or months. Anyways, that's the update. Um, that's Direction uh, Nug, Nugget and JNug is the uh, ticker. N-U-G-T, J-N-U-G. So, we're going to see how that goes. I'm going to play my Witcher and I'm going to eat my pie.